Hi, I'm Brian Wilson. I'm one of the second year medical toxicology fellows at the Arizona Poison and Drug Information Center. Uh, prior to the fellowship, I did a combined residency in emergency medicine and pediatrics also here at the University of Arizona. And I am Jeffrey Smelski. I'm the clinical pharmacy fellow, also second year. I'm the other half of Brian here as the structure pairs the two of us together. I started thinking about doing toxicology back in medical school and had the chance to hang out with our, our local toxicologist and spend some time at the Poison Center and ended up deciding that would be a good fit for me. Uh, I like emergency medicine, but it was a chance to really find a little specialized niche to focus on. I really like the pathophysiology of poisonings and overdoses and digging into the pharmacology and thought that going forward in my career would add a nice balance to sort of the chaos and the um, higher intensity of the emergency department. Um, once I got to residency, I kept thinking about it, explored it more. Being in Tucson, got exposed to a lot of envenomation, snakes and scorpions, and it's hard not to fall in love with that and want to spend a lot of your career focusing on that and dealing with that. I ended up doing the fellowship because I went on the AACT website and saw the list of programs, and then started researching into all of the ones that were kind of in the country because there's only a handful. Um, and so that was kind of how I first got cued into looking into the fellowship program here. And then during the interviewing process, as I kind of learned more, I just kind of felt like it was the, a good fit for me. Thankfully, they seemed to agree because now I'm here. Some days when we're on call, that consists of being the contact point person for the poison center. So the day is kind of busy with the acute management of the patients. Uh, we lead rounds, we do some educational didactic stuff and teaching of the rotators in the afternoons. Um, when we're not on call, um, it's typically more kind of project-based work. Um, it's kind of an endless stream of presentations that we're doing for places or papers that we're working on or some type of a public education project we're doing. Each day is a little bit different and that's one of the things that keeps it interesting. And also often we have opportunities to go do other things. There's different field trips to like the Desert Museum or up to the Phoenix Herpetologic Society. Um, sometimes we'll go off to courses or conferences and there's a lot of flexibility built into the curriculum to sort of make each day what, what we want to make it and what we need to get out of it. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about training here. I think what I like most about the fellowship is just that opportunity to take some protected time and focus on something that I'm really interested in, really passionate about, and to spend some time surrounded by other people who are also as equally interested uh, with some of the minutia and some of the details of toxicology and just that chance to nerd out with other people who are really into the same subject matter as you. We have a lot of good attendings here that are excellent teachers that you know really kind of help shape our education here. You have a lot more time to kind of actually stop and think about what you're doing. Um, certainly a lot of hours and it can be very busy, especially when we're on call. Um, you know, you can have a lot of nights where you don't get too much sleep and you're kind of just looking up stuff all the time. Um, but it's nice to kind of have the time to actually do that. You know, a lot of residencies and a lot of careers are just very, you know, numbers driven, how much work you're doing and you know, it's, it's one of the opportunities where we actually get some, some time to slow down and actually try and learn and kind of build on our education base rather than kind of doing a bunch of stuff and then having to go home and look it up afterwards and see if you, you know, really remembered everything right or whatnot. One of the biggest challenges has been that there are so many different things to get involved with and so many different opportunities that it's easy to sort of overload your plate and find yourself juggling a lot more balls in the air than you would prefer to. And that can get, be a little bit challenging both in terms of managing those different conflicting priorities, um, but also just sort of learning when you need to pass up an opportunity, even if you're interested in it, just so you can focus on other things and do them well. I'd have to say call and kind of the number of hours that you're consecutively on call at times. Um, I mean, right now we're more or less doing every other week. So we cover from 7 a.m. Monday till 7 a.m. Saturday um, straight. And, you know, it's certainly we get time to sleep in there at points. But I mean, if it's a busy week and there's lots of calls, I mean, you just you get woken up and, um, you know, I can usually feel it by Friday every week, whether it was a slow week or a busy week. Um, 
you know, it, it certainly was an adaptation to get used to kind of doing that for such a, a long stretch of time. Um, so it's probably the most difficult thing. It's not that it's impossible. It's not that it's not still enjoyable, but there certainly is like a physical strain to it. The advice I would give to someone who is wanting to apply to a toxicology fellowship, I think is to really take some time and figure out what you're hoping to get out of your career, what you envision your future career being, and sort of building a series of steps that's gonna get you to your goal, and then figuring out how fellowship is gonna help you down that path and help you take those next steps. All the programs in the country are unique and that you really kind of need to look into each one of the programs to see what they have to offer. The program here is very focused on clinical bedside assessment and management of patients, um, where other programs you might have more time to do some bigger research projects. And once you have a good feeling of what you need to do and what you want to do with your future, it'll be a lot easier to look at the different fellowship programs and decide which ones are going to be a better fit for you, which ones are going to help you get to your career goal. Ultimately, it's a stepping stone for you, right? And you want to, you want to make sure that it's getting you to where you want to be. And the clearer of a vision you have of where you want to be, the, the better you can fit that to the fellowship you want to eventually end up in. Make sure that it's something that you really love. Um, you know, it's two years of nothing but toxicology. And so if it's not something you love, it's gonna be a really, really long two years. If it's something that you love and you're very curious and you look up stuff all the time in your spare time, then it doesn't really feel like work, honestly. You know, it's just kind of an enjoyable thing to do and it's, it's nice that we get to do this and teach this um, to all the rotators that kind of come through because it's all stuff I would have looked up anyway. Um, so for me, I certainly enjoy it, but if it felt like work, then it would feel like an awful lot of work. Mm -hmm.